Did you know, on average, advanced cyber attacks can nest inside a network for more than 200 days before discovery? An attack vector known as the cyber attack cycle enlists malicious hackers to target less secure vendors to then gain access to larger targets. Step 1. Reconnaissance The first thing a hacker does when planning a cyber attack is identify a vulnerable target that can provide them with a point of entrance. Step 2. Weaponization In this phase, the hacker must collect all the tools they need to gain access to the network and exploit any vulnerabilities that they find. Step 3. Delivery now the hacker has everything they need to attack. They may send phishing emails, develop an infected website, or wait for someone to open an infected document. Step 4. Exploitation In this step, the hacker uses the data retrieved against web-based email systems or VPN connections and explores the network. Step 5. Installation The attacker then installs a persistent backdoor, creates admin accounts on the network, disables firewall rules, and activates remote desktop access on servers on the network. Step 6. Command and Control With access to the network, administrator accounts, and all the needed tools in place, the attacker is now in total control and can lock anyone out of the network if they want to. Step 7. Action on Objective in the final step of the cyber attack cycle, a hacker could steal information on employees, customers, and product designs, or mess with the operations of a company in a major way. Almost every network is vulnerable to this type of cyber attack. That's why cybersecurity professionals are needed to control access privilege and protect against them on a grand scale are in such high demand.